Okay, seventh graders, let's go through this. Percent equations. Okay? Remember that percents are an amount out of 100. Okay? Percent means the amount out of 100. So, whenever you're given a number and you're finding the percent, it's like taking that whole and pretending that whole is 100. So you can kind of figure out a, an amount um, out of 100, what it means out of 100. So, you've been using this equation for a long time already. I, in sixth grade, I showed you that if you get your score out of the total and multiply it by 100, you find your percent. And using the percent, you find your grade. Okay? And then last time, we talked about this model for percentage. That the part over the whole is equal to the percent number out of 100. So when you draw it out, you can see, the, equate the part and the percent and the whole over 100. Okay. Now, there's some words that help you figure out which numbers go where on the model. The words are is and of when you're dealing with percent. Okay? <coughs> the word is refers to the equal sign. So when you see the word is in the equation, you can think of this part is equal to this part. Okay? And the word of refers to multiplication. So when it says something like this, what is 40% of 70? One thing you can do is find the decimal of 40%, convert it to 0 0.4, and then the word of means multiply, and since 70 is already uh, a number, it's already a, a whole, you can just multiply it by 0 0.4. You don't have to convert this number because it's not a percentage. Percents always have to be converted to a decimal in order to multiply them, okay? So 40% of 70 can be found by converting it to 0 0.4 and then multiplying it by 70, okay? Or, you could look at it this way. Part over the whole is equal to n over 70 and then cross multiply and divide, just like we did last time. So you can always set up a proportion if you want to. All right? Now, there's a word that you're introduced to in this lesson. It's commission. How many of your parents uh, work in sales? Any of your parents work in sales? Sales. sales, like selling stuff? Your dad? Yeah, he's a, yeah windows. Okay. What? Did you still? All right. Um, you can make a great living by learning how to sell things, and most salesmen get paid using some sort of commission basis. Okay, so commission is an amount that's paid to the seller. All right. Anybody who is a realtor gets paid by commission. The person who sells homes. <laughs> now, listen. Quiet, please. Anybody, anybody who gets paid based on commission is being paid an amount that is a percentage of their total sale. Okay? So if they sell, for example, um, $10,000 worth of windows, for example, okay? And they get paid, I don't know, 10%. 10%. What is 
of 10,000. What is 10% of 10,000? $1,000. Yeah. All right. How would you find that? How would you find that using is and of? You could put that into an equation like this. What is 10% of 10,000? Okay? So if you sell $10,000 worth of windows in one day, that's a pretty good day, right? $1,000 a day? $5,000 over many pairs of shoes. How much is that in a month? $30,000. In one month? If you sold $10,000 a day and you made 10% commission You could get a house made out of shoes. So, being paid on commission is a, is a popular way of of getting paid as a salesman, okay? So, for your assignment, you're going to practice this, finding um, answers to percent equations, okay?